You don't have to be fat to bench press a lot. And you certainly do not need steroids to bench press more than 350. And so here's the thing. You can bench press 315 and have a great physique at the same time. There's no major difference between trying to get bigger muscles and trying to get stronger muscles. Coach Greg, and in today's video, if you can't bench 315, well, you're pathetic. Y'all, sorry. You're not even average. Average guy working out of the gym five years, they can bench press 315. Or can they? So I'm watching a Justin Lee video of which he's commenting about a guy who's saying most people who bench 315, they're fat. And if you can bench press 350, well, you probably look horribly unesthetic. You got so much body fat that why even bother? And so the guy, he does in fact have a point. The more body weight you have, the easier it is to bench press 315 pounds. But can the average person bench 315? Well, let's watch the video and find out. If you can bench 315, there's a good chance you're probably fat as and if you can bench more than 350 pounds, you probably have the most unesthetically looking physique of all time. And so based on what this guy's saying is that the more you can bench, the worse you look. And I gotta disagree. Just because it's true that having more body mass, more body fat allows you to bench press more, doesn't mean that the guys with the heaviest benches in the world all look unesthetic. And so although there's of course a correlation between increased body fat and increased bench press, there's also a correlation between having more muscle and having a higher bench press. And so the greater your bench press, guys benching 315, 350, and so on, the more likely they are heavier, have more muscle, and more body fat. Anyone with average genetics can bench press 315 pounds within five years of training, consistent training, if they have average genetics. And so here's where I disagree. Justin Lee's an elite level power lifter. He has Canadian records. The guy is a strength phenom. And so he's assuming that because he can bench press so much that the average person can also bench press a lot. Not as much as him, but 350. And what that is, is a consensus bias. You think that because what you can do and your friends can do, that the world can do. It'd be like this. If you hang around at the bars and most of your friends like drinking alcohol, doing recreational drugs, you're going to kind of assume that most people drink and do recreational drugs. And so I do think Justin Lee is biased into thinking that the average person with average genetics can bench press 315 with only five years of training. Well, being natural. Now with enhancements, if you're on PDs, I do think that with five years of training and five years of taking PDs, that the average person probably can bench 315, but certainly nowhere near this if you're training natural. And so I've literally surveyed YouTube to gather information, asked over a thousand people, how much can you train? Guys who are watching Coach Greg videos, they're in the gym training harder than last time. Do you know what the average person can bench? 230. And 315, guess what percent can do it? The elite, the top 5%. So if you're training in the gym and you bench 315, you're better than 95% of the population. And so no, it's not average. Average about 50% or half. Half the people who train for five years are not going to come close to bench pressing 315. It doesn't work like that. It's not that easy. And it really makes me laugh because another guy made a video and said, bench pressing 315, it's so rare. One in a million, he stated, could bench press 315. Of which he simply got the math wrong. It was one in 0. .0001 or one in 10,000. And so in the real world, only one in 10,000 people go to the gym can bench press 315 pounds. And so which is it? It can't be that easy to bench press 315 where 50% of the people with just average genetics can do it. Because consider this, not one of my friends in Halifax can bench press 315 pounds natural. Not one. In the comment section, people are saying, no, a 315 pound bench press, it's totally achievable natural. Yeah, for some, but not for half. Half the world is not able to bench 315, even with five years of training. And frankly, even with PDs, the majority of people taking PDs cannot bench press 315. 315 is a massive bench. Do you know how much I can bench press right now? What my one rep max is? 335. I'm a world champion powerlifter who used performance enhancing drugs. Yet right now, I can't do it. And would you consider my family to have pretty good genetics? I have a world record in the bench press. It's still there. My twin brother trained for years. His max bench, 295. Also, he said within five years of training natural. Guess how long it took me? Eight. It took me eight years to achieve a 315 pound bench. 
Yet he states 50% of the world could do it in five years? Ridiculous! You don't have to be fat to bench press a lot, and you certainly do not need steroids to bench press more than 350. And so here's the thing, you can bench press 315 and have a great physique at the same time. There's no major difference between trying to get bigger muscles and trying to get stronger muscles. Consider I did power bodybuilding my entire life. I was literally doing bodybuilding competitions and doing powerlifting competitions at the same time. And so I not only looked strong, I was strong. But remember, I had elite level genetics. And based on my own research, surveying people who actually train in the gym in the real world, only 5% of people who go to the gym are bench pressing over 315 pounds. And considering the average person bench presses 230, how is it possible that the average person with dedication for five years is going to bench press 315? To me, that would be disheartening, as there are a lot of very large muscular men who train harder than last time in the gym for years, and they still cannot bench press 315. And so what Justin should have said is rather than saying people with average genetic, he should have said those with elite level genetics with five years of training, they're going to bench press 315 pounds or more. And so a guy like Will Tennyson with close to 10 years of training in the gym who can bench press approximately 350 pounds, when you see a guy like that with way above average genetics, look at Will's physique, look at the size of the guy, look at the muscles. He benches 350. And so if you think that Will is just a little bit above average, are you kidding? Will has a top level physique, both size and strength. He literally won his powerlifting competition. And so imagine thinking that half the people that sign up for training could bench press 315. And so if you took a random sample of 100 people, perhaps they're all in their 20s, some tall, some short, some fat, some thin, and said, I'm going to train you for five years to bench press to get 315 pounds. Do you really think that half of them would bench press 315? A large majority of them wouldn't even bench bench 225. A large percentage of people could train for 10 plus years, never bench 225. And so just because you really want something doesn't mean you can do it. What's next? 50% of the people who they studied hard enough could all become doctors? Really? Genetics is one of the most important variables in determining your overall end strength. If you don't have the base genetics, you of course can get stronger, but it's going to limit your overall potential. And so let's not forget, a 315 pound bench press is very rare. In how facts of which there's hundreds of thousands of people, there's maybe 10 or 15 people who can do a 315 pound bench. It's very rare. When I go to the gym and I see someone with three plates on each side of the bar, I'm watching. It's rare. It's not often that I see it. And these are very large individuals, guys who are jacked. And for the most part, they're not natural. And I got to interrupt this to take my pre-workout. I've already taken GO2 Max, the main ingredient, and a men show to increase cardiovascular performance in average folk, elite level athletes, everybody. If you don't believe me, go watch the Joe Rogan podcast featuring Andrew Huberman. Do your own research. And remember, it's not the placebo effect. It's not in rat mice studies. These are in human double-blind placebo-controlled studies. And so if you want to take the supplement everyone's talking about, NMN, it's in GO2 Max. Head over to my website, code GREG, 10% off. You can try on Amazon, but you can't get it. The FDA recently banned it from being sold on Amazon. And remember, it's not banned by water. You can use it in sporting comp competitions. It's not some illegal drug. It's not going to have any negative side effects. And so head over to the website right now, increase cardio, burn more calories, improve metabolism, ward off age-related illnesses. You got to give it a try. Head over right now. Cold Greg, 10% off. And so listen, I don't like being the bear of bad news. I don't do these videos on purpose. I just tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. I'd love to be able to say that with hard work and with my cookbook and my train books or with my coaching plans that all you could expect to bench press 225 or probably 315. But the truth is, most of you won't. And so I'd rather keep it real and be honest and tell you what you can expect. And in hearing that the average person that watches Coach Greg videos who takes lifting seriously, the average bench press is in fact 230. Is that not what you want to hear? Would you not want to hear that if you work really hard and you have great genetics, that you can one day get 315 or more? But if you don't, it's okay. Compare yourself to yourself. Don't compare yourself to other people or some arbitrary number. Yeah, 315 pound bench is cool. So is 405, 495, 585. 
but so is 225 and 185, 135 and 100. And so rather than saying, I need to hit this magic number, think I wanna live more next year than I am right now and work for it. And so regardless of the fact that you may or may not ever have the potential to getting 315, is that gonna stop you? If you're in the gym right now and you're doing 155 for one rep, what's wrong with trying to work up to 200 pounds? There's nothing wrong with that. And so don't get discouraged if you can't bench press 315. 95% of the people that go to the gym for five years are not gonna bench press 315. It's literally one in 20. And if you think it's more than that, if you think, no, it is half, it's because you're being shown the best of the best, the freaks of the world. Justin Lee is a freak in strength. He is so strong, it's incredible. And because he's so strong, he just assumes that other people, probably if they train as hard as he does or train the way he does, they're also gonna get strong. But please don't underestimate just how important genetics are. When I do really well at something, for example, example, my work, cardio, racing on a bike, lifting weights, benching records, and so on. I know that it's because of the hard work that I did, but I also know that it's a lot of luck. I have great genetics. If I didn't have great genetics, I could have trained just as hard as I did, but not had nearly as much muscle or strength. And so let me know in the comment section, do you think the average person really could bench 315 natural with five years of training? Because from my perspective, having coached thousands of people, having lots of friends, both natural and enhanced, it's very rare for anyone to bench press 315. And the majority of guys that are doing 315 or more, they're well over 200 pounds of muscle and they're taking PDs and they're not even natural. And perhaps it makes you feel better. I can only bench press 315 pounds. My best natural bench was 450. And yeah, I could bench close to 550 pounds while enhanced. But as a natural athlete, and I still have a lot of muscle, I'm a five foot six manlet weighing about 190 pounds. I only bench press 335. And so if you expect to bench press 315 pounds with under five years of training with average genetics, well, you underestimated your genetics. Your genetics are amazing. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment for the algorithm, like the video if you liked it. Don't forget to watch the bloops. Of course, cookbooks, training books, coaching plans by me and my team. I can feel the pre-workout kicking in. Also, all these supplements, you got to get that. Follow me on Instagram, Greg Doucette, IB Pro. Don't forget, code Greg, 10% off the clothing line, the circle diet book. And if you don't have any money, head over to the website. And her first and last name, enter your email address to get a free diet and training program over 50 pages. You got to get that. Ending it here and until next time I am out.